just days after Arms List launched a lawsuit against Facebook and Instagram over being deplatformed, some of our most well-known anti-gun senators filed a new bill, the Accountability for Online Firearms Marketplaces Act. Where do you get a load of this one? Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Today is Monday. The Monday Morning Grind is brought to us weekly by Blackout Coffee. They have a lot of different flavored coffees as well as flavored teas and hot chocolates. Loose leaf tea, uh, they have whole bean coffee, ground coffee, K-cups, swag, lots of stuff. New flavors coming out all the time. And if you use my code down below, it's blackoutcoffee.com slash GNG. Uh, you directly help this channel, but I also have a code down there to help you save money on every single uh, order. And I thank you for considering Blackout Coffee. Now, let's get into <laughs> another violation of their oaths, another attempt to attack a facet of the Second Amendment, and it's done by the usuals. Senators Dianne Feinstein of California, Richard Blumenthal of Connecticut, and they were joined by Sheldon Whitehouse of Rhode Island, and they filed a bill to, quote, I'm going to get this quote right, to hold accountable online gun marketplaces that allow illegal gun sales to be conducted on their platforms. Now, if you're not familiar with what Arms List is, it's an online uh, place where you can order all kinds of stuff, including firearms. And now, the bill <laughs> specifically mentions Arms List as a reason to revoke the federal protection at section 230-230, but to revoke those federal protections for online marketplaces that sell firearms and accessories. Now, there are a lot of places you can think of, of websites where you would go to purchase said items. Well, if this bill were to go through and get signed into law, those would be gone. Now, Skeletor said this, it's time to start holding accountable those who turn a blind eye to illegal gun sales on their platforms. The only way to reduce the scourge of gun violence plaguing our communities is to close loopholes that allow prohibited people to obtain guns. Stoneface Blumenthal said, bestowing blanket immunity on websites for illegal gun sales mocks common sense and public safety. A website that enables such deadly arms transfers should not enjoy a shield from all accountability simply because they're online. Section 230 was never intended to provide a sweeping free pass to such illicit, lethal gun trafficking. This bill will reverse the disastrous holding in Daniel V. Arms List and ensure that online firearms marketplaces are held accountable for the gun deaths they bear responsibility for. No word from Blumenthal's office if they're going after alcohol or motor vehicle makers for the deaths that their items must cause all by themselves too. Because the individual who does these things willingly has nothing to do with it. It's not their choice. Senator Whitehouse said, online gun marketplaces fail to take common sense safety measures to prevent illegal gun sales on their platforms. There is no reason why a retailer should be allowed to evade responsibility simply because they operate online. It's time to close this cyber loophole and protect against more unnecessary suffering. Now guys and girls, if you're not familiar with buying firearms online or accessories, accessories, if they're not federally regulated, they can be sent to your house. It's just like you're buying nail polish or a hair accessory, or you want to spruce up your pickup truck, if it's not federally regulated, it's not federally regulated. Now, if you want to purchase a firearm, which is federally regulated, they get sent to a federally licensed firearms dealer. And the federally licensed firearms dealer does the background check. They do the 4473. They do all that stuff. This isn't like you can go online and buy one of those machine guns that Biden gave to the tallies and have it sent to your home. It doesn't happen that way, but they want the sheeple out there to think that. Just believe what you're told, never investigate on your own, just believe what you're told. Now, on the press release from Feinstein and her office, this is what they want to point everybody to get their rage up where they say this has to end. Nobody can buy anything online anymore. In 2012, Radcliffe Franklin Houghton purchased an NP40 semi-automatic pistol 
and three 14 round magazines from an unlicensed seller on arms list even after his wife obtained a restraining order that banned him from purchasing a firearm. He later used that firearm where he murdered, he murdered his estranged wife and uh, two of her co-workers in front of their daughter. Now that's a tragedy and it was done by the individual, not the item. However, the court dismissed that case that was brought on by Houghton's daughter uh, because of Section 230. And that was the Wisconsin Supreme Court. Now, Wisconsin is a state where it allows person-to-person -person transfers. There are numerous states that allow that. So with that, and, and all laws in all states are different, so here's just a generalization. Uh, if somebody say, I am selling a, a firearm, whether it's my intergalactic space modulator or whatever, I'm allowed to sell it to another person in the state, another resident, as long as I uh, know he's not a prohibited purchaser or have a reason to believe that this person is a prohibited person. Now that applies online or in person. So filing a bill to remove the ability for people all across the country uh, to do something that's totally legal because of one, one situation that they don't, don't like that it, it was a legal transaction. They don't like that. So everybody must pay. It's the way the uh, anti-gunners operate. One person does something, everybody pays for it. Make no mistake, this is another attempt to get rid of private party, person-to-person -person transfers of something that you legally own and you can legally sell. There are numerous cases. Uh, one was major here in Massachusetts. A woman who uh, was in a, uh, a battered relationship uh, with a lot of domestic violence issues. Her friend lent her an item to protect herself. She protected herself with it, and she saved herself. It led to a major lawsuit, which uh, the Supreme Court got involved and smacked down Massachusetts for charging her. But that would take that scenario away. You couldn't do things like, hey, uh, people are breaking into your neighborhood, Mom. Here's this. Or... Uh, lending your wife a gun or something like that. You can think about a myriad of scenarios, but this would stop that totally because uh, they don't like this Wisconsin law. It does nothing to stop criminals. Zero, zip, zilch. Criminals do not follow the law, no matter how, no matter how many you pass. Uh, this is just an attempt to restrict the law-abiding people from doing person-to-person -person transfers and transactions and take away the ability for them to purchase things online. Now they just submitted this bill, the Accountability for Online Firearms Marketplaces Act. There, It's not written up yet. Once it is written up, uh, I'll try to remember to put it in the description, but know that I will, I will follow this the whole way. It's also one of those backdoor gun control things that Biden promised he was going to do. So let's keep our eyes on this. Let's not just, you know, blow smoke at it or turn our nose to it. We have to pay attention to this. And if you want to stay in the loop, subscribe to this channel, hit that bell notification, like this uh, video and share it with some friends so that everybody knows what's going on. Another attempt at the anti-gunners to try to take away our rights. All right, y'all, I just wanted to give you guys the heads up on this bill that was filed by Skeletor and her, uh, her demonic buddies. Um, if you want to stay in the know, subscribe to the channel. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you more than you know. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.